Good morning, good afternoon, good evening wherever you are in the world. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I try to examine the reason why I am Marwa was kicked out of Ivan's house in Washington, D.C. This is my message for anyone who is watching this episode, I want to ask you to have an open mind and listen to what I have to say before writing nasty comments. I understand that this might be a sensitive topic for you all, and I want you to know that I care about Marwa and I only want the best for him. Here I want to offer Marwa and Ivan some feedback because I care about I am Marwa and I want to see him succeed. I'm sharing this with the best intentions, so please know that it comes from a place of love. Was Marwa kicked out because he is stingy with his money? We all remember the warm welcome Marwa received from Ivan, Sultan and Dylan when he arrived in New York City. In fact, Ivan and Dylan traveled all the way from Washington, D.C. to New York to receive Marwa at the airport. That was extremely good. Marwa, New York and Washington, D.C. are very expensive cities. It is important to be mindful of certain social etiquette and financial considerations. We watched Marwa show appreciation for Sultan and Ivan's generosity in hosting him in such nice places, in New York and Washington, D.C. Marwa thanked them genuinely for their hospitality and generosity, that was very good. Sultan and Ivan offered to host Marwa, I did not see Marwa offer to pay for meals, groceries, or other expenses during his stay. Marwa, contributing towards expenses is a polite way to show gratitude to the host. Keep in mind that living in an expensive city means higher costs of living. Marwa next time, be mindful of water and electricity usage and avoid wasteful behavior. Marwa failed to respect the host's space, rules and privacy. Marwa forgot that he is a guest in someone else's home. He did not help with cleaning the kitchen or the house, instead he was complaining and asking Ivan to get a woman so that she can keep the house clean. That was wrong Marwa. Marwa, even though Sultan and Ivan offered to host you, it's not fair to assume that they will cover all expenses. Always be prepared to contribute and don't take the host's generosity for granted. You should avoid excessive spending or indulging in expensive activities that may burden your acquaintance financially. Be mindful of your spending habits and avoid imposing additional costs on your host. Next time, be respectful of your host's time and space. Avoid overstaying your welcome and be considerate of their schedule and commitments. Disrespect their home or belongings, treat your host's home and belongings with utmost respect. Avoid damaging or mishandling their property and keep their home clean and tidy. When Marwa arrived in New York, he shared that he had over $10,000 US dollars with him, but I did not see him pay for anything. Marwa is a stingy traveler. He is primarily concerned with spending as little money as possible. Marwa tends to prioritize saving money over experiences, and he often opts for the cheapest options regardless of the quality or authenticity of the experience. Marwa is reluctant to spend money on anyone else, even in social or cultural situations that would be considered customary or polite. He is not ashamed to frequently ask for money or free hosting on social media. He repeatedly asks for favors, such as free accommodation, meals, or transportation, without reciprocating or showing appreciation for the generosity of others. Minimal or no contribution to group expenses Shared expenses such as group meals, transportation costs, or other shared expenses is not okay. When Marwa was traveling with Ivan and Dylan from New York to Washington, D.C., we saw them stop at a gas station and grocery store, Marwa did not lift a finger to contribute to shared expenses, meals, gas or groceries. It looked as Marwa was insensitive to the financial constraints, Ivan was put in an uncomfortable or difficult position. Watch Marwa in India. After some hours of a long journey, I am here now. This town is called Hariel. I'm telling you that was crazy, Jen. The, the driver must be a very strong man. Wow! Look who is greeting me here, some Afro boy. 
Yo, how are you, man? I'm fine. Bro. What's your name? Ramsan. Ramsan, where are you from? Do they speak English? No. Kiru Karua? Yeah, Karua. Yeah, so that's all. Mm. After that, nothing. No, yeah, because I've been just traveling, traveling, traveling. You want to have food, something? Yeah, I think it should be okay. Huh. Yes. Now or after some time? After some time, no yeah. pressure. I'll just finish like... Uh, just take your time, Father. Yeah. I am I am a traveler, so yeah. I am used to very hard... Uh, mm. Hard uh, persistence. No, if at all you want a cup of tea or something, okay. we'll uh, provide you. Okay, thank but you. But our uh, dinner time is at uh, after 8. No problem, I'll wait. Yeah. I can take a shower that time. Yeah. And just shower is... Uh, is it okay for you? Cold water? Yeah, cold is very okay for uh, me. Or it you want hot water? No, cold. It relaxes me. Uh -huh. Yes. I have kept you... Uh, Small piece of soap. Okay, thank you. Paste is there. Okay, yeah. That one is a small. Thank you. If you have, you have can use. Okay. Then any emergency father, I can contact. Father is not well. Okay, no problem, so father. I'll just be in the church now. So, what's your your name is? My the, name is Ronald De Souza. De Souza. Yeah. Yeah. The last word uh, yeah. De Souza was like. So we are working here for the. For the parish. For this parish. Okay. So this is a big area. Okay. Not one small. I have arranged also. They, since you told me community. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. might come to visit you. Okay, no problem. So they may also take you if they want. Yes, no problem. I'm I'm quite uh, flexible. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, my uh, boy always. Yo, this guy is yeah, he so. he picked me from uh from uh, from the okay, Father. See you later. So you can uh, keep in touch with this boy. This is this. He's very famous here. Oh, he's very famous? Yeah. You're going to be showing me around yeah, too? Yeah, he has uh, his big group is there. Okay. All youngsters. So okay. you can stay any amount of days here. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Father. Thank you. Wow, uh, this is out of space, bro. I had no place. Uh, wait, okay. Just wait for me. Okay, this. Issue with privacy and personal space. Inviting girls, guests or YouTuber friends to someone else's home without proper consent and agreement from the homeowner is generally not considered ethical. It is important to respect the property and privacy of others and obtain proper permission before inviting guests to someone else's home. Inviting guests, including multiple girls or any other individuals, to someone else's home without the homeowner's knowledge or consent can be seen as an intrusion of privacy, a breach of trust, and disrespectful to the homeowner's personal space. We don't know if Marwa had permissions to bring all those people in Yvonne's home. This can also create discomfort or inconvenience for the homeowner and other residents of the home. Was Marwa kicked out of Ivan's house due to his obsession with white girls or light-skinned women? In Mombasa, we saw Marwa enjoying the free Airbnb with a white girl from Switzerland. You want this one? Am I down? So this is one package, yeah? Okay. But you can choose okay. to where he or she would like to get. Okay. Into, eh? Wow. So that's for your case, eh? Yeah. You'll be boarding this down like 6.45. Okay. 6.45, what yes. time is it? Yeah, on time. Okay. Yeah, we'll have the computer there. Yes. So, and then from here, yes. you get the DAO, you'll be, of course, with other kind inside. Okay. There are some entertainment in the DAO. Wow. This is where you are going to have your dinner. In the DAO. Oh, wow. Okay. You call it the dinner DAO. Okay. So, we will leave the gen this jet at about uh, 7. Or okay. going all the way. Then you have a bridge down the ocean, coming down the ocean. Wow. Under the bridge, that's up. So be back here at around 10 p.m. Oh wow! So, so it's an adventure of some kind. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So I'll pick you back here. Hey, man. Wow, very nice. Honestly, I couldn't have brought you here. <laughs> right now, I'm 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 broke. I'm building. I'm broke. I couldn't manage honestly, but uh, we're here. Wow. Let's see. All right, all right. Wow. This is courtesy to our hosts who are staying here. You know, even I've never seen Mombasa this beautiful. Ooh. Guys, we're getting some surprises. Why are you smiling too much? Should I give you a space? No, no, it's super okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, canopies. Okay, madam. You wanna present yourself to my camera? Just one okay. minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's your name? Bowie. <laughs> yes. My name is Violet. Violet. Uh -huh. You are. This is which event is this? Okay, this is the Tamarind Dog Group. Wow. Yeah. And what's going on today? 
what we have today is um, we have a guest okay. for dinner okay. for our four main course. Okay. Like we started from the starter. Yes. Uh, the canapes, the soup, the main course, okay. and then the start. Alright. Yeah. So, guys, this is the canapes. So, those are the canapes. Pre dinner. Yeah, it's like a pre dinner. Okay. So, the samosas okay. and beef samosa. Beef samosa. Yeah. Okay. And then the rolls are spring rolls, vegetarian. Alright. Uh huh. And then the spoon has a cocktail of prawns and avocado. Santa -san. We just received our wine glasses here. Hey, life is good, bro. Life is good. And it's beautiful. Look, the bridge is right there. There's a bridge, cars passing. Guys, you're having dinner, it's amazing here in the middle of the ocean, just floating. It feels like a dream. Does it feel real? Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no? Okay. We are there. We are in the middle of the ocean, guys. You can't believe this. But look at that. We're in the middle of the ocean. Like, I don't know, it's too dark maybe to show you. But uh, we're gonna have, we have some nice, beautiful as fish. Look at this plate. It's not a regular plate. This one here. It's a shell. Wow. Wow. Hey. I think you're gonna never forget about Ken. No, never. Never. This is especially this. Thank you for the lady uh, Lois for making this come true. It's just from the bottom of the heart when I say thank you so much. Hey, and the music. Please follow me on Instagram. My baby boo, my baby boo. You know that song? My baby boo. Guys, they wrote our names on the plate. Welcome to Tamari Do. You see? And my name Marwa is right there. And her name also here. Welcome to Do. Look. Hey, this is crazy. How do you feel about it? Super special, and we are the only one with the names. Yes. Hey, thank you. That's Tanzanian song. Tetema. 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 Tetema means shake, shake a little bit. Happy birthday. Sheila, okay. thank you so much. I know it's very late. You should be <laughs> sleeping. You've been waiting two people who went for a party and they came very late. Mm -hmm. Thank you for everything, Sheila. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow I'll say a special thanks when we are leaving. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I lost voice. It can't, <laughs> you can imagine how it was. Or maybe I drank too much. Some rum today. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Look. Thank you so much, Sheila. I will talk. And one thing I know, my hosts are very, very nice. They will understand you. For example, if you're booking for a whole month or something, I'm very sure they will do some better rates. 
Look, the room is shining. It's so beautiful. And you guys have killed us. Like tomorrow, I'm waking up with no worries. <laughs> you know? I'm waking up just walking to the table. Yes, and the beach is right here. It's just like stone throw, like right, right here, 100 meters. Maybe this video will end it tomorrow morning. All right, thank you so much, Sheila. And thank you for staying late. Okay. Tomorrow I'll leave you with some soda. <laughs> okay? I'll leave you with some soda thank tomorrow. Thank you very much. Mind of my thing. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Sheila. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let me see what's here. Yes. Oh, Sheila, you did all this? <laughs> oh my God. Sheila, that, what's big oh, surprise on this? Yeah. You did all this? Yeah. Uh, oh my God. Hey, are you ready to make? Wow. Oh, yeah. wow! Let's give her. It's it's a how, Rashi. The boy. Yeah, a guy. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Asante Sana, Eric. To Oh wow. Are you ready to make love tonight? <laughs> <laughs> because now, what will I do with all this? Like. Marwa wanted to repeat what he did in Mombasa in Ivan's home. Was Marwa expecting to use and abuse Ivan's home in the same manner? Bringing a call gill from Europe to Washington, D.C. to Ivan's house was the last straw. Yes, that is the real reason Marwa was kicked out of Ivan's home. Marwa has women issues, if you know what I mean, ha ha ha. In many videos we see Marwa with light skin girls, is he paying those women or is he using these women for views? Paying light-skinned women to pose in a particular way or behave in a certain manner that is intended to be attractive or appealing to viewers solely based on their skin color is wrong. Paying and showcasing individuals based on their skin color, whether light or dark, for the purpose of gaining more subscribers or views on videos would be unethical and discriminatory. Using light-skinned women as props or accessories to attract attention or gain more views without considering their skills, talents, or contributions beyond their physical appearance is wrong. Marwa, creating content that promotes or glorifies light skin as superior or more desirable compared to other skin colors, perpetuating harmful colorism or discriminatory attitudes is wrong. Exploiting light-skinned women by objectifying them or reducing them to mere objects of visual appeal without considering their consent, dignity, or autonomy is wrong. It is important to remember that promoting or exploiting individuals based on their physical appearance, including skin color, is not only unethical but also perpetuates harmful stereotypes, objectification, and discrimination. It goes against principles of equality, fairness, and respect for human dignity. So, we saw Marwa inviting a call girl from Europe. From the time Ivan went to receive her from the airport, Marwa changed. He totally ignored Ivan. Ivan became their driver, I even think that Marwa wanted Ivan to go to the Swahili restaurant with him to buy food, but Ivan politely sent Marwa alone. Now let's talk about Ivan and his lack of communication. We know that lack of communication can lead to misunderstandings, misinterpretations, and potential conflicts between a host and a guest. It was important for Ivan to proactively communicate with Marwa to avoid any potential issues and to ensure a smooth and enjoyable experience for both parties. Ivan knew Marwa was coming to stay with him for a month minimum. As the host, Ivan needed to communicate up front with Marwa regarding these important things. Marwa's arrival and departure details, Ivan felt to clearly communicate the expected arrival and departure dates and times for Marwa's stay. House rules set clear expectations regarding any rules or guidelines for Marwa's stay, such as drinking rules, noise level, Marwa's access to certain areas of the home, and any other specific rules Marwa should follow. Communicate these rules up front to avoid any misunderstandings later on. Accommodation details Provide information on the accommodation arrangements, including the type of room Marwa will be staying in, the amenities available in the room, and any other relevant information about the living arrangements during the guest stay. Meals and food, discuss meal arrangements, such as whether meals will be provided by Ivan or if Marwa will be responsible for his own meals. If there are any dietary restrictions or preferences, communicate them up front to ensure that Marwa's needs are taken into consideration. Shared spaces, 
if the Marwa will be sharing common spaces with Ivan, such as a living room, kitchen, or bathroom, communicate expectations for their use, cleanliness, and any shared responsibilities, such as cleaning up after themselves or respecting the host's privacy. Internet and Communication Access Ivan should have informed Marwa about the availability of internet access, Wi-Fi, and any other communication options in the Ivan's home. Guest Responsibilities Clearly communicate any responsibilities or expectations the Ivan has for Marwa during his stay, such as keeping their room tidy, respecting the host's property, and adhering to any house rules or guidelines that have been communicated. Transportation Provide information on transportation options in the local area, such as public transportation, taxi services, or rental car options, and any relevant tips or instructions for getting around. This was going to help Marwa plan his transportation needs during the stay. Local information, share information about the local area, including nearby attractions, restaurants, grocery stores, pharmacies, and any other relevant information that may be useful to the guest during their stay. This could have allowed Ivan and Marwa to have a pleasant experience. Ivan, you did not have to lie about your uncle's death in order to kick Marwa out of your hours. Clear communication up front was essential for a positive experience for both Marwa and yourself. By discussing and setting expectations regarding arrival and departure details, house rules, accommodation, meals, shared spaces, internet access, guest responsibilities, transportation, and local information, Ivan would have avoided the sad ending we saw on social media. I hope that both Ivan and Marwa will have the chance clear all the misunderstandings and miscommunications. After all it was a win-win situation between both parties, Marwa enjoyed a free stay in Washington, D.C., but also Marwa helped Ivan get free YouTube subscribers and views. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.